Hey, thanks for tuning in for Art Time with Jake. This week we're continuing to work with the butterflies we made last time, and if you're like me, your print might have ran a bit beyond the edges, so I decided to cut mine out of the white paper and make it into one of these cool cards. You can freehand cut these with scissors, or you can create a stencil by using an X-Acto knife to carefully cut out one butterfly and then trace its shape over the print where the paint spread too much. If you use this method, be sure to get the stencil well aligned before tracing. You'll see that I use a combination of scissors and an X-Acto knife, as some of the tighter spaces are easier to reach with the precision of the X-Acto knife blade. The pencil line traced from the stencil might be faint in the video, but it's there as my guide. Now that the edges are defined, it's a good time to touch up with the same black paint I used before. Adding a little bit of paint to the antenna will strengthen that area. You might even consider putting some black paint on the back side of the antenna too. The black paint will lighten as it dries. To make the card insert, start by folding a sheet of paper of your choice. I recommend a color that contrasts your butterfly's color somehow. A lightweight computer paper is ideal for the insert, as more cardstock would start to make the crease of the fold too noticeable. I'm never one to waste paper, so I align my butterfly to the top of the sheet so the leftover bottom piece can be used for another craft later. You only need to trace the butterfly onto one side, and then fold the paper in reverse of the original fold and use scissors to cut within the line you just traced. This way your insert will fit neatly inside and not show until the card is opened. The decision to include the header tail is up to you. When it comes to attaching the insert, I recommend using a glue stick as it's less likely than white glue to leave wrinkles in the paper and hot glue adds too much volume to the fold. I only apply the glue around the fold line on the printed butterfly and do so lightly as excessive glue can cause wrinkles. Now, there's a couple different ways to fold and press these to make them into cards. In the first method, I've folded the card while the glue stick is still wet and placed it inside of a book with the antenna and the head sticking out of the book. Be sure the insert is properly aligned before leaving it to dry. After waiting 20 minutes for the glue to dry, I noticed when I removed the butterfly from the book, the crease line was a bit prominent. So on my next attempt, after applying the glue, I laid the butterfly flat and pressed it that way. Once it dried, I folded it by hand, and that kept the crease from being as noticeable. Now I just need to find an envelope that's the right size, and I'm ready to send my butterfly into the world to someone special. After I've written down my message, of course. These butterflies are lightweight, so slap a first-class postage stamp on the envelope, and it's ready to go. Where will your butterfly visit?